A civil society were concerned because it seems like government is legalizing human trafficking. Because this is part of human trafficking. Because everything is being done in secretively. And why should government fast track some of these, I mean, uh, procedures? Uh, because it needs to have an open process. <laughs> As, as members of the uh, Human Rights Consultative Committee, uh, we are making an application that uh, we should be party uh, to the case. And uh, depending on the judge, uh, he will give us a day where we we'll have a first hearing, uh, where we we'll put forward our concern regarding the whole process of uh, the case against Madonna. <laughs> give it me a name. Give it me <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, the lawyer for the, uh, uh, the applicants, the two organizations, and uh, ourselves, we've, all, we've both submitted uh, skeleton arguments to the court and our list of authorities that uh, we hope to use during the uh, hearing next week. We'll be waiting to be served by uh, the Attorney General if they have their own skeleton arguments and uh, case authorities. So, as the way things are, uh, next week we, we should be able to finalize the hearing. Right now, Madonna has a, uh, an interim uh, uh, order uh, in taking custody of, of David. But uh, what we are looking is, I think, uh, one is to strengthen, I mean, the team which is going to assess uh, Madonna. Uh, right now, there is only one person who is like uh, linking up with Madonna, but. We are looking at having an independent assessment uh, in, in terms of uh, the period of 18 months. The other is uh, on the issue of what they agree. There's an agreement between the father and Madonna. Uh, and uh, what we are looking at is uh, whatever they agreed should reflect in the judgment. Mujer, mujer, mujer. Mas a gente está com os mais idiotas. Okay.